Hello again, and welcome back to the Guitar Reliquary. Today, it seems that I've got a rat infestation in the reliquary. That's right, I'm holding the Charvel Pro Mod Warren D. Martini Blood and Skull Guitar. So, this is a really awesome guitar. I am shocked at how much I like it. I'm not a huge Floyd Rose guy, but this thing just works and it smokes. When you hear the demo, I think you'll hear some really hot tones coming out of this Duncan humbucker here. And we'll talk about uh, what that humbucker is all about in a little bit. So the first thing that attracted me to the Warren D. Martini Blood in Skull is the graphic. So I had, uh, before mm, two weeks ago, heard two rat songs. I had heard Round and Round and I had heard You're in Love. And I liked them. They were good, but they were hair metal and I'm not a huge hair metal fan. Uh, however, I had gotten more into their discography after getting this, and now I really appreciate some of the stuff that Dart Demartini does, especially on tracks like uh, Way Cool Jr., where it's not your standard uh, hair metal fare. So uh, the happy side effect is getting more into uh, awesome music from the 80s, which is when I was born, and therefore I have a particular fondness for it. So back to the guitar. We have on this uh, Charvel Demartini a gloss finished alder body. And looking at mine, I think it's a three piece alder body because it seems like it has, uh, <laughs> seems like it has seams uh, here and here. So that's good enough for me. It's covered in the graphic. You can't really tell that it is a three piece body. Um, I would probably be more particular if it was a transparent finish, but where it's the graphic, I don't care. Uh, that alder body is joined to a one-piece quarter sawn maple neck. Uh, this is not graphite reinforced like other Charvel models. So even though on the Charvel website it shows the picture like there might be graphite rods in it, I emailed Charvel customer relations because apparently I had nothing better to do and they confirmed that it does not have the um, graphite reinforced neck. So that's the woods that we have for our guitar. Um, the maple neck and fretboard, the alder body uh, covered with gloss polyurethane and then I think it's the hand rub urethane that they do on the neck for this so it's really um, comfortable to play, feels like there's no finish, even though there is finish on it, um, so that it will preserve it for a long time to come. As far as the hardware, it has a Floyd Rose 1000 uh, bridge. It is not recessed, so you can see that it sits on the top of the guitar, which is great. Martini said in an interview that I was watching from um, 2018, I think, that he tends to have it decked um, right on the top of the guitar when he's playing live so that it does not uh, have any tuning issues. I will probably keep it floating. I had a little fun with the floating in the uh, beginning of the track, as you'll see. Uh, but I will get a trem stop um, that I can install in the back so that if I want to go hardtail, I just engage the trem stop and I'm good to go. Uh, that Floyd Rose 1000 comes to a 43 millimeter nut, the BR3 Floyd Rose lock nut. Uh, it has um, a single volume knob that does not push pull, and it has Charvel branded non locking tuners. And then, of course, the string tree. I love this, and I actually chose this over the USA model uh, because of one key feature. Uh, you've heard on the channel before that I am a big fan of the Made in Mexico guitars from Fender Musical Instruments Corporation. I think they're on par with the American instruments in a lot of cases. Uh, in this particular case with the Demartini, I wanted the 
uh, wheel truss rod adjustment. The American-made Demartini adjusts through the butt of the neck, sort of like a vintage-style fender, which has been uh, mentioned in his interviews that he loves this 58 fender. I, however, do not want to take the neck off to adjust the truss rod. I have no guitars right now where that is the case because I can't stand it. I hate having to do that. So any ease of truss rod adjustment is welcomed for me. Uh, this guitar has a single pickup, which is mounted, and I have to mention this, it's mounted by a satin black plastic uh, pickup ring. I don't think I've seen satin black plastic uh, pickup rings on many guitars stock, but it looks so good with the, the graphic on here, and it feels amazing. And then, of course, we have the uh, Custom Shop Seymour Duncan RTM Radis Tonius Maximus pickup, which is, uh, per his words, like a hotter JB with more highs, so that he can ride the volume knob off and therefore get a uh, JB tone and then crank it up and have more high end if he wants it. Personally, uh, I think it, it sounds good. It's not the greatest sounding pickup I've ever heard. Uh, it definitely nails the hair metal thing uh, really well, has a lot of note definition. Um, I, I'm not disliking it, it's just, the I'm not sure the hype is real on that. And then as far as the fretboard, I believe it has a 12 to 16 inch compound radius with jumbo nickel silver frets. Um, my fretwork on this is perfect. Uh, there were no high frets. I have it set up with 9 to 46 gauge strings. I have no fret out. I have no buzz. Um, and the action is real low. The action is actually lower than I have on my other guitars. It could stand to come up. Uh, I was very lucky to get this beautiful flame maple neck piece. Actually, I'd been watching the Demartinis for a long time. And then I saw this one on the Sweetwater website. I saw the flame to the neck. And I, I just had to have it. Uh, four bolt neck joint a uh, naturally a cavity cover for the Floyd and the electronics which are rear mounted. Uh, I learned something new which I didn't know was in the Charvel line the San Dimas is top mounted electronics. Uh, no sorry bottom mounted electronics so they have the control plate and then the SoCal is the top mounted so as the pit guard. So I had always seen the two and never knew what they were, but I was watching Jakey Lee or something, and he was talking about it. And so I learned something, and maybe now you've learned something too. Uh, anyways, uh, I think that this guitar sounds really phenomenal. Uh, I should mention the neck is super fast. It's a really thin neck. Um, it's a probably one of the thinner necks that I have. I didn't get a chance to get a measurement on it, but I'm sure you can find that information online somewhere. So check out the tones, uh, see what you think, and let me know.
right, thanks for sticking around. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this, and I will see you round and round. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.